Hello and welcome back to Art by Julie E. I'm Julie E. If you're just joining us, I normally do acrylic pours and alcohol inks, but um, Sparky got me these charcoals for our anniversary, Valentine's Day, um, this year. And um, I used to draw a lot way back when we first met before I had to have um, ulnar nerve surgery. And I was missing it, and he could tell, I guess. <laughs> and so he got me this stuff to kind of put me on my path to drawing again. And while do doing this, I'm showing you this because we have a new puppy in our life. Um, our cat passed away. Mufasa was feeling it hard, the loss of him. And um, we were feeling it too. I mean, it's sad. We had him for 23 years. And um, so, yeah, we were all kind of mourning his loss and missing him. But, yeah, Mufasa was taking it especially hard. So we thought, well, he needs he needs a new best friend. And <laughs> so we got with one, and, man, he did not like it at first. He was like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> what the hell is this you brought into our house? <laughs> but you'll see at the end, I will introduce you to Caesar. Um, they get along great now, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's chaotic. It's very chaotic. I'm sure you'll hear them here shortly now that they hear me talking. Um, but yeah, it's just barking and squeaky toys and all kinds of stuff. So what I am doing is I'm playing with my new charcoal set, and yeah, because of the new puppy, that's kind of all I have time to do is show you <laughs> what I'm playing with next, you know? So yeah, if it's happening in the studio, that's what you're going to see. Um, probably just this week though is what I'm playing with these just to get through the transitional phase. And um, that in that little pan there that I was doing with the brush, you know, the big kind of kabuki makeup brush. Um, and what I'm doing now with the soft tip swabs, that's um, uh, a pan pastel. It's a soft pastel. Uh, I don't know much about pastels. I know that oils are like crayons and um, soft pastels are like chalk. So <laughs> that's as far as my experience with pastels goes. So this is all new. This is all learning for me and playing and um, rule breaking. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about and why I wanted you to see this is because I don't know what the rules are. I've never done this before. I've never taken classes for it. I have seen a few um, YouTube videos, but you know, I was focused more on what they were creating more than how they were actually creating it. And um, so yeah, I'm trying to blend shadows and everything. And the inspiration for this flower and everything is because last week during um, the school glue bloom um, called Lily, um, one of my viewers asked if I could do a stargazer. So yeah, I had stargazer lilies on the brain as you will see here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun playing with light and shadow at the moment um, and yeah having having some fun um, I made some mistakes along the way and but I like how grungy it's getting you can see that pastel powder really kind of smoked out the paper and um, I don't know but here we go this is another thing. I, what I'm using is a 9x12 um, vellum paper. It is for charcoal. But um, yeah, I decided to put some alcohol ink on it too. At <laughs> least like I said, I, I'm breaking the rules. I don't know if you should put alcohol ink on vellum paper. It's probably best to use watercolors for it from feeling the texture and everything. I don't know much about watercolors either. But yeah, I I, I did. I took, um, what is it? 
I think it's um, Ranger Raspberry and Piñata Senorita Magenta. Mixed them both together in a little bottle cap and added some alcohol. And took one of my watercolor brushes that I add alcohol to and just started, you know, putting a alcohol ink wash across the petals. And then I took um, some moss and... Uh, Oh, what is it? Rainforest green, I think, and did the stem and the leaf and everything. But you'll see, you know. Let me go ahead and put some music on for you. Um, before I do, I want to remind you that we have a really big train today, a nice train. Uh, it started out with Dave from DHR Acrylic Creations or Acrylic Art. Um, I always get his name wrong. I don't know why. <laughs> too many letters I think I don't know <laughs> but then right after Dave it was just Janice and she does some beautiful work also and then right after me we have a special guest in our train it is August's art um, August's acrylic art you know August come on we all know August I just sorry <laughs> It's, just, it's chaos around here. I'm probably getting the names wrong, but all the names will be correct in my description along with all the links to their wonderful videos. So please go down into the description, check out their videos for me. Please do the UBTube thingies, the likey, subscribies, the sharies, all that fun stuff because it's free to you and it helps us immensely. So yeah. All right. Let's get to some music and I'll come back when I get to the next stage of this. Cause yeah, we're gonna use another product. You probably shouldn't be combining. I don't know. Like I said, we're breaking the rules. Don't wanna waste time. I'll never be this young. I'll never be this young again. Don't wanna chase highs when I'm too worn out. So I, I'm never coming down, never coming down, never coming down again. I was born to be this high, born to be this high, born to be this high, my friend. Won't you come up here?
I'm back. Okay, what we are doing here is um, painting that inner part of the lily with the acrylic inks. I have Montmart um, acrylic inks, and my powder just my power just went out. Okay, hold on. I've got battery backup. Hopefully that will kick in. Yeah, it's kicking in. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> we will pause everything right here and come back. Okay, power is back on. It is restored. Thank goodness I have a battery backup hooked up to my PC so I was able to shut everything down safely and not lose any of my edited footage that I have worked so hard on for all of you guys. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, chaos, sheer chaos around here, always, forever. I, I don't think I will ever know a full day of peace ever again. <laughs> kidding I'm kidding uh, but yes what I am using is the Montmart brand of acrylic inks I don't know a whole lot about them I am just discovering them and playing with them pretty much for the first time around here myself in the last few months so yeah um, I think Sparky got me those for Christmas too I, <laughs> I he gets me stuff to try that I go oh that's interesting I wonder what those do and so he'll like get them for me and go here try them out see what they do and <laughs> that's what we're doing try them out see what they do and I'm, I'm getting a kick out of this this was so freeing and fun just making a mess I just filled a little bit in the droppers and then just shook it just shook it all over it you know, not really caring where it landed, what it did, or anything. It's just, like I said, we're, we're breaking rules and loving it. And yeah, I think, I think the finished product came out pretty darn good. Um, here we go. We're dabbing. We're dabbing. Should we dab? I don't know. Probably not, but we're gonna, we're gonna dab. We're gonna smear. We're gonna have fun. There we go. Check that out. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> and yeah, I liked it so much I put my name on it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it's very much out of the norm for something I normally do. Um, and I hope you stick around to see the newest member of the family, Caesar. He's quite a handful. You know, picture a newborn baby that doesn't wear diapers, but has a full set of sharp little teeth. <laughs> That's a puppy, you know? So, <laughs> until next time, loves and hugs, y'all. Bye. Ugh, get the flat rabbit. All right, there you go. Flat rabbit. Get the flat rabbit. Get the flat rabbit. There you go. Tug of war. Tug of war. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>